Mixcat News with your host, Pete. Hey guys, Pete with Mixcat. This is a Attic Fan Update. As you can see at the very top of this video, the actual garage temperature is 88 degrees, where the attic temperature is 86 degrees. So the attic fan actually is working out very well for us, and we noticed a nice temperature decrease in the garage. I'm actually going to put a couple vents in the garage to uh, better circulate the air, and I think that'll definitely improve the uh, cooling effect. As you can see, according to the solar charging module, it's running at 12.3 degrees. So the solar and the batteries have no problem keeping up with that attic fan. So it's working out quite nicely and I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Again, I want to thank everybody for the super comments and suggestions. I've even had some companies contact me and give me some ideas on what I possibly can do to optimize my household consumption even better. I will have the opportunity to be able to review a grid tie inverter, which is pretty exciting. A grid tie inverter is a pretty unique piece of hardware and I just learned about this recently. It actually takes the power from your solar panels um, and plugs directly into an outlet um, of course passing through the grid tie inverter. That inverter steps it up to AC something that your household can deal with and without having to charge any kind of um, external batteries or anything like that it feeds directly into your grid. Now just to give an example and this is way out of proportion but let's say your house consumes 1,000 watts of uh, electricity um, and your grid tie inverter is good for 300 watts and you have 300 watts worth of solar panels. Um, what it would do is actually feed those 300 watts into your system so it looked like to the electric company that you're only consuming 700 watts of power and that's what it's actually drawing from the electric company. So you could see that that would actually save you quite a bit of money and without the complexity of adding batteries or anything like that. Um, but the only downfall on it is if there is a power outage and that grid tie inverter don't see the signal from the electric company, your power would be out. So you'd need a traditional inverter to give you any kind of backup electric. But a really cool and interesting technology. I'm quite excited about it. I've actually had a company allow me to review one of their products which is a grid tie inverter. Not sure what the wattage is going to be yet but they're actually sending that to me to to be able to test out and do a video review on so look forward to actually being able to show you guys uh, what they are and what they do and uh, recommend some good companies that actually put out this equipment and uh, quite cheaply I might add and I'm excited about that. If anyone knows of any other companies that also does similar type of products and would like us to review them definitely contact us let us know and if you have any suggestions also let me know and again thanks for all the feedback and the emails it's been uh, super and I really do appreciate it oh I almost forgot to mention if you look above these are actually LED lights that are running off of the uh, solar panel and the batteries I can run these three lights LED lights that I got from Home Depot very cheap I might add I want to say those were 25 bucks for the whole three pack. I can run those for days on end without depleting my batteries. So definitely something you might want to look into. They're pretty bright. I'm looking forward to kind of staggering some of these through the house. Well, now you guys are up on all the, the latest details on that solar attic fan. I told you guys I'd do an update. I'll also update you guys to the amount of electric I'm saving off of this. And I, I'm... <laughs> actually waiting for that myself. I'm quite excited about it. Thanks for all the comments, emails, and everything. You guys have been great about it. We just passed 5,000 subscribers and over 21,000 friends, and I honestly couldn't do any of this without you guys. You, you guys are awesome. YouTube's a great place to meet such diverse people. I mean, it, it's been su a super experience here. Again, I appreciate it, and you have a great evening.